Good morning, Doc Crucis and American Classifieds fans. So we are here at Horse and Hound, and like the sign says, chicks are here. So Wayne and I came down, and, and it turns out it's chickens. Um, so we were a little confused. Wayne thought it was chicks, but it's chickens. So we are here because um, it's Chick Days, and we're here with Sabrina. Hi. What does Chick Days mean? So Chick Days is when we get several thousand chicks into our store to sell to people who are looking to start their own flock, who maybe want to teach their kids responsibility and how to take care of an animal. That's and cool. it means we have some really great specials going on right now. So it's neat. So my neighbor, Tommy, he does chickens, pheasants. I know he's had ducks in the past, but we love it. it, it we, we go over with our carton once a week. He fills up our chickens. It fills up our carton with chicken eggs <laughs> and what a difference i mean it is noticeably different to us how it tastes absolutely there's nothing like fresh eggs there's not and, and it's great so so we go over so we're gonna take a walk in the back here and this is where the the chickens are or chicks That's correct And then there's there's already people back here looking for them. Absolutely. So we're going to start with, with oh, little tiny cute ducks. Yeah, so we do have some ducklings available. Um, they're a lot of fun. They love the water. Um, they're fun to watch. Um, one of the things we recommend is we sell the ducklings in pairs because they just do a lot better when they have a friend. And, um, but we have we still have some available um, to come and check out. Um, we have some. These are um, different breeds. We don't know exactly how they're going to look when they grow up, so it'll be kind of a fun So they surprise. all start this yellowish color and then turn into a beautiful duck. A lot of breeds, especially the white ones, will start as a yellowish color. Um, ducklings can come in blacks and grays and some other colors as well, but currently um, these are what we have in stock. That's cool. And we want to remind people, this, is, this isn't just a... a, 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 a fad game to come and get a right. duck or a chicken. This is responsibility. And exactly. I like I like that you talked about the responsibility uh, of owning a duck and and or, or a, a chicken that, that you know that this is a a, a live animal. So exactly. so we want to be sure and so when they come in if if they're new to it you guys will will talk to them about what they need to do and Exactly. Yes. So um, chicks and ducklings when they're young, there's actually um, several things that are really important. You need to have a heat lamp with a heat bulb to keep over um, the container that you're keeping them in because they need to, they can't regulate their own body temperature yet. Gotcha. Um, so that's the number one thing. As they grow older and as they get their adult feathers in, you can start transitioning them to the outside. Um, but one of the great things about um, having them, if you do have children or even if you don't have kids but you just want to enjoy having a, an animal around, is they do require care, but they also are a lot of fun to watch. Um, as they become adults, you get eggs out of them. And so, but definitely something that we encourage is um, knowing that this isn't something that you buy and you get rid of next week. Right. You're making an actual commitment to take care of this animal. And it's a commitment, but it's a very rewarding commitment. It is, especially for me, for my neighbor to have because I get eggs. Exactly. So then we're going to move on here. There are just a ton of chicks. And look, look, Wayne over there, he's confused on which chicks he can come talk to. Oh, look, Wayne has a little chick. <laughs> So in these bins right, this bin right here, we have um, pullets. That's the name for young female hens. Um, we have Rhode Island Reds and Black Australorks. And wait, I'm gonna get real so and get close to looking at these guys here. These Hello. are part of our chick day special. Hello, little chick. Um, our special is you can get six pullets. Six and pullets. A twenty pound, I mean a fifty pound bag of Start and Grow for twenty dollars. Um, so okay. how soon do these grow up to be providing eggs? So they usually start um, laying eggs at about 18 to 20 weeks. Oh, so not that far so away. So it's not that far. You know, just a few months down the road, they'll start laying eggs. Wayne, you could have eggs for breakfast in a few short months. These are also um, pullets, the, the young hens. Um, the yellow ones are buff orpingtons. The ones that look like chipmunks are um, brown leghorns, 
And then the black ones are barred rocks. Barred rocks grow up to be a white and black chicken. They're a real cool looking chicken. The buff Orpingtons are very, very friendly. So if you're looking for a chicken that will also be more like a pet, the buffs are a great option. Um, all of these pullets will be good like egg layers for you. So if you're really interested in egg production, any of these would be a great option. Um, and again, these are part of the special. Um, you can pick six pullets and then you'll also get a 50 pound bag of start and grow for the $20. And you can mix and match. You could get two Buff Orpingtons, two Rhode Island Reds, two Black Australorps. Um, however you want to mix up, mix up the breeds, you can do that as well. I like well. the scrambled. The scrambled? Scrambled would be my... my uh, mm. I like I like mine and look at all these. Omelet. They're all cuddled under the light. Right. So these are really fun. These are our hatchery choice. So that means our breeds and males and females are all mixed up together. So if you live in the city limits, this might not be the best option for you um, because you're not allowed to have roosters and you're limited to um, six chickens. But for those of you who live in the county, you can purchase 10, any 10 of these chicks and you'll also get a 50 pound bag of the start and grow for the $20. So if you live in the city limits, no roosters? No roosters are allowed in the city I don't limits. like the roosters either because they're very noisy. I've noticed that. They are noisy, yes. Um, lots of times they seem to think dawn comes at 3.30 or right. 4 in the morning. Or a light. A light comes on and suddenly, right. hey, it's morning. It's time to wake up, yep. But again, if you're in the county, um, this can be a really fun option. Um, you'll, it'll be fun to see um, what kind of chickens they grow up to be, their feathers, that type of thing. You know, I'd like to point out, Wayne's not been around this many chicks ever. Never. <laughs> <laughs> but they all run from, from me like normal. Yeah. Do you want me to get one? No, I'm just trying to keep them from being all lazy. Okay, well, one other thing you said was that we have, we'll go back out to the sure. front. You said we had uh, some giveaways. We do. We're doing several giveaways if you want to come back up front. Look, there's people getting chickens. Yep. Look, you have the heat lamps, too. Yes, so we have everything that you need um, to supply, um, to get you stocked up for having your chickens. We have the bulbs. We have the lamps. We have some pamphlets that we can that. give you that talk about how to care for your chickens from the time you take them home well into when they're adults and laying eggs. Okay. And if you have any questions, of course, we're always happy to help you out here. Great. So we're going to go back up front here. So what do you guys, you guys are doing a drawing? Yes, we, so we're doing one drawing for adults and one drawing for kids. So for adults, you can enter um, this drawing to win this chicken coop. Oh. Um, it's really fun. It has some nesting boxes inside. It's um, already basically put together um, for you. So that means less labor. Um, and it's valued actually at two hundred and thirty dollars, and so um, it's a good deal to. Um, if you're and all they gotta to do is come in and register. Yep, you just gotta come in, fill out one of these forms, stick it in the box, and you're all set. And then what are you doing for the kids? And then for the kids, oh, look um, at this. all the kids that come in, they're welcome to get one of our chicken hats. They can choose an egg, um, and there'll be a surprise in the egg. And then inside the egg, there'll also be a raffle form that they can fill out or um, the adult that's with them can help fill it out and they'll be entered to win this um, Easter basket. Oh, nice. It has a squirt gun in it. It has some games. It has a super cute stuffed chicken. So, so when is the drawing for this? They'll, these will be done Saturday evening. This Saturday. Okay, so come in between now and Saturday for Chick Days. And you run out of chicks pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, definitely, um, the sooner you're able to come in, the better. Um, better selection, better you'll choice. You'll have more selection. Um, some of the breeds um, do go pretty quickly, so that would definitely be something um, I would recommend definitely coming in as soon as possible. Okay, great. Well, Sabrina, we thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day and uh, showing us all the chicks, and uh, we wish you success, and good luck to everybody starting out with new chickens. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming by. You bet. We'll see you later.